Greetings, friends and family. Thanks for joining me. Here's another quick dream that I've had. Hey, sit back, buckle up, see entertain, pull up a seat, family, and listen as I share. In the dream, it looks as though I am in what looks like it's a museum. There's an art exhibit of or some type of ex exhibit, and I'm amongst a group of people I am not normally around, family. I'm among the posh, the ritzy, the upper class. Uh, some people call them the sophisticated. I'm going to say the higher epsilon of society, all right? The upper class. I'm amongst the upper class. We're, uh, like I said, walk, walking around looking at an exhibit, what looks like an exhibit, all right? And this exhibit family... It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Normally when I've been invited to an event, I can make my way around the room. Eventually, I make my way around the room. But this is not the case in this dream. There was no mingling at all, no rubbing of the elbows. And family, I'm going to tell you, there was just no talking at all, none whatsoever. No talking. So we're walking around. We're trying to figure out, number one, what this place is. Number two, why we are here. Why are we here? And family I'm observing and there are tablets inscriptions uh, just uh, words inscribed in tablets they are beautifully displayed family it looks as though it took a lifetime a lifetime to build or create family a lifetime the inscriptions or writings they're in uh, calligraphy if anyone knows anything about calligraphy it takes patience it takes time to complete like I said it took a lifetime the tablets also are just uh, laced and draped with gold and silver and just gems, just gorgeous, spectacular, uh, spectacular display and exhibit. And we're walking around. These are words. And so when we get closer, we realize they are just not words. Family, these are quotes, all right? It looks as though these are people's quotes. These are um, acts, all right? Uh, events, happenings that have taken place, family. And guess what? As we read, we find out some of these things are despicable, family. It looks as though um, these quotes that people have said and the uh, things that they have done, all right? It looks like um, just wrongdoings that they've done and just... Um, acts, like I said, that are despicable and quotes that just are disrespectful and downright dirty and nasty, uh, they were recorded, all right? They were inscribed, like I said, in gold and silver, just beautiful family, beautifully draped. And we're walking through, and as each person walks through, they find and they read, all right, a quote, check this out, that they have actually said themselves, all right, an act that they have done themselves, family, or something they have uh, been a part of. And family, it looks as though we're there and we're actually viewing family what we have actually done, the wrongdoings. And so family, amongst this group, like I said, they are the wealthy family. They, they can make things happen. And as we're looking at these words, no one else would know that these are your quotes unless it was you yourself, all right? We call it taking it to the grave with us, all right? If you can understand and relate to that. Some people say, hey, I'm going to do this thing or I've done this thing. I'm not going to share it with anyone else. I'm taking it to the grave with me. But guess what, family? They were born, these acts and, and, and quotes and, and everything that they've done that were wrongdoings are going with them to the grave, family, and beyond. To the grave and beyond. When we are faced with those events faced with our own quotes and sayings all right and our own ill and evil will family that's what was going on here and so as each person reads their act their quote or something they've said they are made you to see their faces their eyes are just wide open and their mouths are wide open and and just just complete just dismay all right they just have no idea who would have uh taken time to write this all right and why would you have it here on display who would do such a thing and so at the end of the exhibit we're all walking through and we've all read and viewed everything guess what family it is now my turn it's my cue and guess what i do <laughs> i go to the front family and i open up my mouth and i begin to sing <laughs> i sing family there i sing and it was just a beautiful voice, melodious, just rich. And it sounded like, okay, uh, similar to that of Mahalia Jackson, the old gospel artist of the past, all right? An icon decades ago, family. And she, when she sang, it was just, you could just 
feel it, family. And that was this case here in the dream. Because <laughs> anyone knows me knows that, number one, I am not a singer, all right? I sing in high school in the choir. I sing in my shower here at home and walking around the house. And I sang to my children when they were young. But that is about it, all right? That is the scope of my career as a singer and, and uh, <laughs> an artist, all right? A solo artist. But family, like I said, I sang this song and it reminded me of a song back in when I went to visit my parents back in the day. And there's this old church and with the wooden floors and the tapping of the feet. Come on now, you know what I'm talking about. That's what it reminded me of. And I'm singing, family. I'm singing this old spiritual, this old uh, gospel spiritual song. And you may know it. You may know it. Check this out. Hold on. <laughs> No, I'm not going to put you through it. I'm not going to put you through it. But listen, listen, I'm going to share what I am going to share is the uh, songwriter. All right, the songwriter penned this song. So I'm going to share the lyrics. Hey, you got a couple of seconds. Listen, hey, stay with me just a couple of more seconds. Listen, listen, listen. Family, I cannot make this stuff up. Listen, the song says, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Time, family, time is filled with swift transition. None, none on earth unmoved can stand. Build, build your hope on things eternal. Eternal. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Trust, trust in him who will not leave you whatsoever the years may bring. When your earthly friends, family, whomever forsakes you, all right, still more closely to him we cling. Hold on, family, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal, my friends. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Trust, trust in him. He won't leave you whatsoever the years may bring. When your earthly friends and family, whomever forsakes you, still more closely to to him we cling. Hey, I cannot make this stuff up, family. I cannot make it up if I wanted to and if I tried. That was the song. Came out of my voice, out of my mouth, and it was beautiful, family. It was beautiful. <laughs> beautifully, beautifully sung. And so, family, as I finished the song, family, it was my time. I heard a great voice. This great voice said, you can go. <laughs> Simply, you can go. You can go. But family, I was not ready to go. I did not want to leave. I wanted to, number one, see what would happen. All right? Number two, see what would be the fate of the people, of the persons that were there. I wanted to see what was going to happen next. But it was not so. I was not allowed to do so. Again, I heard the voice tell me, leave. You can go now. <laughs> And immediately I woke up. And as I woke up, my son, my eldest son, just so happened to be walking through the room. And he, uh, and I shared this, uh, just a snippet of this dream with him. Just a snippet. All right. And he said, Mom, the secrets, those were secrets. And it sounded like judgment. All right. We're faced with our secrets in this place. All right. Judgment, maybe God's judgment, judgment, maybe even judgment day. But we were faced. We were faced with those things that we have done. And family, like I said, this group was wealthy. And what I was reading, it looks like they have manipulated. You know how it is, family. This is nothing new. Uh, sometimes people use their wealth, their power, their uh, titles, all right, to make things happen. All right, and if they've done any wrongdoing, they make things disappear with their wealth, all right, and they manipulate and abuse their right and their title and their authority, and in this situation, abuse their wealth, all right? Not just this generation, because like I said, these people were wealthy, but not just from this generation, from decades and generations passed down. They were filthy rich family. And like I said, not just ge this generation, but maybe from hundreds of years ago, all right? Hundreds of years back. And they have manipulated, used their power, used their authority, used their wealth, all right? To uh, take advantage of others, take advantage of situations, and just just manipulate it of people, family. And that is what they were faced with. And they were in this place of judgment where they were faced with everything that they have done. So when I woke up, I prayed for myself because I was actually there, all right? I prayed to God, hey, forgive me, wipe the slate clean, all right? If I have uh, manipulated or abused my my title or my, my authority or... or 
<laughs> the little wealth that I have, if I have misused that and abused someone and manipulated someone else and just forgive me and wipe the slate clean. And I prayed that prayer for the persons who were with me, that the wealthy, that bunch that was there. And that's my prayer for you also too, family, that you are forgiven for all that you have done, where you have manipulated, used other people and taken advantage of them and used it, your title, all right, your, your authority, your wealth to make just your wrongdoings disappear. We're going to be faced with those things in the end. We're going to be faced with all that we do. So family, I pray at my friends, I pray that you will uh, just mind what you say, all right, guard your heart, guard your mind, mind uh, your thoughts and what your speech, all right, and just, uh, just be mindful of that and be careful not to manipulate or use others, uh, uh, you know, and use your title to manipulate and abuse. All right. Hey, I'm T.Y. Walker of T.Y. Walker TV on Facebook, T.Y. Walker TV on YouTube. Shout me out down below. You know how we do it. We press like down below. All right. Go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. All right. Press the subscribe button and also the bell for notifications of when I come on next. All right. You'll be aware. All right. And until the next, fi next time, family. Peace. I'm T.Y. Walker of T.Y. Walker TV. Listen, family, listen as I share.